Okay, class, we now are going to talk on bone growth. We're going to talk on bone growth. We're going to talk on bone growth in length, which is more in depth, and bone growth in width. Okay. Now, as I mentioned in previous videos, my videos are static. We're looking at PowerPoints. But a good motion video is good to look at. So I'd like for you to look at this video here. This is kind of a motion type of video, and it can really explain it uh, well, I, I truly believe, in addition to looking at my PowerPoints. So I'll attempt with the, the PowerPoints to, to kind of get you an idea. All right. If you recall, let's go back here, that I mentioned to you that we had this growth plate right there. And here's another one here. That's still cartilage. That is still cartilage. And that's how you grow in length. Okay, so from the growth plate. All right. So what we're looking at then, here we go. I'm going to go down here, right here. Right here at the end of your bones. In other words, in that growth plate. In that growth plate right here are layers of cartilage cells. Layers of cartilage cells and a couple of layers of bone cells. Layers of cartilage cells and a couple of layers of, of bone cells. Now, <clears throat> these are called zones. So the epiphyseal plate, known as the growth plate, is arranged in a linear sequence, in a linear sequence, of cartilage cells, which some down here at bone cells. Okay. They're arranged in zones. Now, this is the epiphyseal end right here. That's the epiphyseal end right there. So the first layer of cells, cartilage cells, are called the zone of reserve cartilage. Those cartilage cells, as you can see in the text, merely hold the epiphysis to the rest of the bone. The epiphysis to the rest of the bone. This next zone of cartilage cells are doing a lot of mitosis. Now that's the important one right there. This next zone right here, this zone of proliferation, that is the zone of true activity. Those are the cells that are pushing. Let me highlight that. Those are the cells that you are growing from. And that's on both ends of the bone. Okay, it's on both ends of the bone. Then these cells start to get larger, and that's called the zone of hypertrophy. The zone of hypertrophy. Okay. So in other words, we have a zone of re reserve cartilage proliferation. I'm sorry, I should have said maturation. The next zone is the zone of maturation, where the cells have stopped dividing and they are maturing. See right here in that zone of proliferation, the cells are going through the uh, cell divisional cycle. Here... They stop dividing, so they are maturing, i.e. doing differentiation. Then the cells start to grow bigger, called a zone of hypertrophy. They start to store glycogen in them. Now, these last two zones are where you st are, are really bone areas, are really bone areas. So here are the zones. Now, let me kind of explain. Let's, let me kind of digress in a moment. Hopefully, this will give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Hopefully, this will give you an idea of what I'm discussing here. All right. Right here, how does bone grow in length? Cartilage cells, chondrocytes in the zone of proliferation at the epiphyseal end of the growth plate multiply and push the long, push the long bone outward at both ends. They push the long bone outward at both ends. Let me show you what I'm saying. Here's a little picture. This here is, because they are multiplying, they're pushing it out this way and that way. Pushing it out, because they're pushing forward. They're pushing forward. Now, here's another little drawing I made to kind of show you. These, these cells of proliferation are pushing this way. The other end would be pushing that way, if I did both ends. And that's pushing the bone outwards, lengthening the bone. So just, con just concerned with the blue right there with the blue. All right. Now, I just want you to think on that. All right. I'm not ready for this provisional calcification yet. 
All right, I'm going to come down here. The cartilage cells are multiplying, and the new daughter cartilage cells, which are the new cells, we call them daughter cells, are pushing towards the, bo the bone cells. So you see what happens is here, let me go here, in this zone of provisional calcification, these proliferating cells are pushing into the calcified area. Now, if you recall, when calcium gets around cells, the cells get the air supply cut off. And these guys do not have a pipeline system. So when the cartilage cells get pushed into the calcified area, the calcified area is down here. Let me go over here to this picture. The calcified area is down here where the diaphysis is. That's where it is, the calcified area. So when they get pushed into that calcified area, the cartilage cells die. They can't push out anymore. All right? So let me go back to this. You see. So, but as the zone of provisional calcification, ossification of bone cells are putting bone down. So in my picture, they are pushing bone this way, and these guys are pushing cartilage cells that way. Now think about it. All right. So I come here. The cartilage cells are multiplying, and the new daughter cartilage cells, which would be the second row or third row, are pushing towards the bone-making cells. Down here, the bone-making cells are putting calcified bone. That advances towards the multiplying cartilage. In order for a long bone to keep growing in length, the cartilage cells must perform mitosis, quote, faster, because they have to keep pushing these bone cells away. They must perform mitosis faster than the advancing edge of bone being laid down. Because when, when the bone gets around the cartilage cells, they die. When calcium surrounds the multiplying cartilage cells, the growth plate begins to close. It starts slowing down. Which means that the multiplication rate, you're getting older. So you're getting older. You're getting time for the growth plate to close. The multiplication rate of the cartilage cells now is slower than the advancing side of the bone being laid down. So you you got to keep pushing these guys away. When the calcium surrounds the multiplying cart, the growth plate begins to close, and when all the proliferating cartilage is around it, the plate is totally closed and the bone no longer grows in length. When calcium surrounds the multiplying, the growth plate begins to close, and then the bone no longer grows, as we alluded to in length. So, what I'm saying is, is that the way it grows is these cartilage cells in the zone of proliferation keep multiplying to keep the ossification area away. That's essentially how it works, to be honest. So when you look at this, you want to kind of identify your zone of reserve cartilage and the various zones I've shown. That's the growth plate. And the growth and different bones close the growth plate at different times. Here's another picture of that there. So here's another picture. So the so bone growth and lit, the proliferation rate of the zona needs to be as needs to be as fast or faster than the rate of action of ossification. You can read that. I think I've kind of explained it, but do not forget about that video to look at. About that video. Okay? So that's bone growth in length. Now, width. How do you how do you do bone growth in length and width? So you don't have cartilage. Because when you do it, if you if you're growing your bones length, now think about this. You look here at the three, four, five, the bones are getting longer. You don't want them to be sticks. The bone gets long, but it doesn't get wider. So it's like you're walking on sticks. So as you grow the bone longer, you need to increase the width. The width is easy. Bone cells on the inner cellular layer, osteogenic layer, go back and look, are laying bone down around bone. It's called appositional growth, applying. So it's much easier for the width because you're doing an appositional growth. An appositional growth. So length involves cartilage, that growth plate, and this involves that. Again, look at that, that video so you can get a good idea. All right. 
Now we're going to what stimulates bone growth. So now we're going to talk about hormones, which I'm going to do in another video. Okay, we're going to kind of talk on the hormones.